Well, as women get older, as we get to a certain age, unfortunately, we run out of estrogens post the menopause. And it isn't just that you end up with wrinkles. The connective tissue that keeps everything in the pelvic floor up becomes very lax. And we don't end up with enough support for the bladder or for the pelvic organs. And women can find that the least exertion means that they leak urine. Well, currently, surgeons help women with stress incontinence and pelvic organ prolapse using a number of materials. They have over the years used the patient's own connective tissue, but that's not always available. It's a long operation. More recently, they've used the same sort of material that's used in hernia repair. And this is a very, very strong polypropylene mesh. It's strong, it's actually a bit too strong, but it's not very flexible. Over the last six years in the department, we've been working on developing a material which has better characteristics and quality for implantation into the urethra and into the vagina. As a surgeon, I think it's extremely important that we have better quality materials which will lessen the complications seen by patients undergoing this surgery. While there's no doubt that the surgical technique is the most appropriate one in modern practice, with new materials which have better characteristics, I'm sure we can improve on the quality of treatment which we're providing to our patients. I am a cell biologist working on the team. Uh, we start by producing the materials using the electrospinning technique and with this we obtain materials with a microstructure much similar to the native pelvic tissues while the current clinical materials they have a very different macrostructure. We are also looking at the regenerative potential of patient stem cells and the stem cells can be isolated from subcutaneous fat which then the cells can be combined with the biomaterials that we develop to be implanted back into the patient to stimulate regeneration. The material that we have developed, it can be stretched and bounces back, which copes better in the dynamic environment of the pelvic floor tissues. So my job is to make the materials a bit more smarter by loading certain drugs into them. And estradiol is the female sex hormone. I use estradiol to attract more blood vessels towards my material because I know that if the blood supply is good, um, the tissues heal better and the material integrates better. So I have, um, I have produced a synthetic material that gradually released estradiol and I have shown that um, my materials nearly doubled the number of blood vessels growing around my material. Well, where we want to go next is we want to really rigorously evaluate this material to make sure it doesn't cause inflammation, no possibility of pain, and that it supports the female pelvic floor. And we need to get approval from the Medical Health Regulatory Authority so that before we go near women, we're really convinced it will be safe to use with less complications than the current material.